guys, this is Haley from OneOneRabbits.com and today I'm just going to be doing a video about how to choose the right hay for your rabbits. So there are a lot of different types of hay to choose for your rabbit, but pretty much any of them are okay as long as it's a grass-based hay. You don't want any alfalfa or clover type hay for adult rabbits because it is way too high in fat and calcium and it can cause obesity and also um, a lot of other problems. So, so as long as you have a grass-based hay for your rabbit, you are pretty much set to go. Um, pretty much any grass-based hay is safe for rabbits, but there are a lot of different options and many people find themselves overwhelmed on what to get their rabbit or they find their rabbit being very picky and their rabbit won't eat grass hay. So in this video, I have two different types of grass hay to show to you, and I also have different cuts of hay. And I'm just going to be describing um, the differences between the hays and differences between cuts of hay. So as you can see, I have four different litter boxes on the screen right now with four different like varieties of hay. And these are just four examples that I'm going to be showing today in this video. All of this hay is from smallpetselect.com. Um, their hay is awesome, very green, and um, I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to be showing a couple of their types of hay. So Timothy hay and orchard grass are the most common types of hay that you will see sold for rabbits. Um, but there is a couple more. Some people feed oat hay or meadow hay or, you know, just other stuff like that. Pretty much they're all different types of grasses and all of them are perfectly safe. Um, but Timothy hay and orchard grass are like the main, the two most common that you will see people talk about um, and talk about their rabbits enjoying. So the four different types of hay that I have here are first cut Timothy hay, second cut Timothy hay, third cut Timothy hay, and orchard grass. So I'm going to first talk about the differences between cuttings of hay. Now some people might not be familiar with this term, but pretty much what it means is first cut, second cut, and third cut pretty much refer to how many times the field has been, the hay field has been cut um, that growing season. So first cut Timothy hay would be the first crop of hay that was harvested on that hay field that growing season. And then second cut would be um, the second time that the hay has been cut for that season and then third cutting would be the third time. Now depending where you live, some people don't have third cut Timothy hay because the summers aren't long enough. I know farmers around me in Wisconsin sometimes don't even get third crop um, grass hays because our summers are so short that they don't have, the grass doesn't have time to grow back up. Um, but other places um, do have uh, first cut, second cut, and third cut. So you may be wondering, is there any differences between the cuttings of the hay? And while it's still the same type of grass, there are slight differences um, between the cuttings of the hay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and explain to you what the slight differences are. So right here, I have an example of first cut Timothy hay. Now this was the first hay that was harvested in the beginning of the growing season. So the first cutting of hay is normally very stocky. Uh, so if you can see here, this hay is very stocky and coarse, has a lot of um, seed heads in it, and um, it doesn't have very many leaves as um, second or third cutting would have. First cutting has a lot of fiber in it. It um, has more fiber than second or third cut Timothy hay, but that shouldn't um, keep you from buying second cut or third cut Timothy hay because um, even though there is a lot of fiber in this, some rabbits don't like it because of the thick, coarse um, stalks and stuff. My rabbits seem to be fine with it. As you can see, Lulu just took a piece. So a lot of your decision on picking a hay is probably going to be um, your rabbit's preference. So you're just gonna have to try a lot of them out. So now I have the next type of hay. This is second cut Timothy hay. As you may be able to tell, this is a lot softer and a lot less coarse than the first cut Timothy hay. It has a lot more leaves in it, and it has it has a few seed heads. As you can see, there's a couple in there, um, but most of all, it's mostly grass. So second cut Timothy hay 
is a very good blend of grass and um, seed heads. So it's a very good mixture for rabbits. Um, it has a good amount of fiber in it. So this is normally the most popular choice that um, pet owners will get for their rabbits. Most of the time, rabbits love it. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see Lulu down there, but she's been snatching some hay. Um, so yeah, they really like this hay. So here's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. This is super stocky and super coarse, while this stuff is very fine and a little bit more grassy. So this is first cut and this is second cut. So this is the last type of Timothy hay that I have to show you guys. And this is third cutting. So this is the last crop of the season normally. Um, last crop of the summer. And this stuff is super, super soft. There is like barely any seed heads. Like you might find a couple, like I have one here, um, but mostly it's all grass and it's super, super soft. So third cut hay is super soft. And so picky rabbits tend to really enjoy this hay. The only problem is that it is low in fiber. Um, and fiber is very, very important to a rabbit's digestive system. Um, that does not mean that you shouldn't feed third cut Timothy hay, um, but I would personally recommend that you would mix it with either second cut or um, a different type of hay like orchard grass, um, just so that your rabbit gets um, a little bit more fiber in their diet. Um, but yeah, this is a really good choice for rabbits that are a little bit more picky. So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the second cutting and the third cutting. So they're very similar. They aren't as distinct as the first cut and second cut, um, but there are differences, especially to the touch. When I feel this one, it's a lot more pokey than when I feel the third cut. Um, but yeah, this stuff is definitely more soft while this stuff is a little bit more um, pokey, but it is, uh, they're both fairly, fairly soft. So now that I've talked a little bit about Timothy hay, I'm gonna move on to um, another type of hay called orchard grass. Now some people may be wondering if Timothy hay is so good and so high in fiber, why would you choose anything else? Um, well, mostly it is because of rabbits. Rabbits can be very picky, as some of you may know, and some rabbits simply don't like the taste of Timothy hay. And because of that, um, it is very good to have um, tried other options like orchard grass um, or another type of grass hay. Um, but orchard grass is another popular type that some pet owners choose. So orchard grass, nutrition-wise, is like, I kind of looked it up, and they're they're pretty much identical to Timothy Hay. Um, you're not going to be like missing out on anything if you choose um, orchard grass over Timothy Hay or Timothy Hay over orchard grass. They're fairly similar. So one of the main differences um, orchard grass compared to um, Timothy Hay is that there is no like seed heads. Um, for orchard grass and there's also not a, very many stalks in it. Um, it is just very, it's a very soft and um, leafy hay. So orchard grass is very common hay to get for rabbits who are picky as I think it's a little, maybe tastes a little sweeter to them or something. So um, this would be a good choice for picky hay eaters. But there is also another good benefit of orchard grass. A lot of people tend to have allergies to Timothy hay and because of that some people actually get rid of their pets because they get so sick from the hay. Um, but good news is you don't have to get rid of your pet if you're allergic to hay um, and I highly recommend that you find out if you're allergic to hay before you get your rabbit um, or whatever type of pet you have. Um, but orchard grass tends to not cause allergies in people who are allergic to hay. Um, so that is a super, super good benefit. Um, I don't know if there's slight allergies in orchard grass or not. Um, I personally am not allergic to hay, so I don't know. Um, but I do know people who are allergic to Timothy hay, when they switch to orchard grass, they feel a ton better. Like their allergies go down and um, they're able to keep their rabbits. And so if you are allergic to hay, I would highly recommend that you try um, orchard grass um, to see if that helps with your allergies. So here's just a quick comparison between the orchard grass and the Timothy hay. Um, so I don't know if you guys can tell very much. Um, they do feel a little different, like to the touch. Um, this one tends to have smaller, I feel like this one has smaller leaves and this one is like, they're very long and almost thicker leaves. 
And when you smell them, they definitely have a different smell. The orchard grass tends to smell sweeter, um, and it's, it's a very, like, I mean, I think it smells really good. The orchard grass smells amazing. And while the Timothy just, I mean, it has a smell, but I feel like it's not as distinct as the orchard grass, um, but maybe that's just because I'm used to the smell of it. I'm not sure. So all of the options that I've shown here are perfectly good for your rabbit. Um, I personally would recommend maybe try um, mixing a hay if you go with the third cut Timothy hay, um, just because there isn't very much fiber in it. Um, but pretty much any grass hay is completely fine for your rabbit. If there's some of you out there just looking for a really quick and simple um, like suggestion on what hay to get, I would personally recommend the second cutting Timothy hay. Uh, most rabbits love it, it's a good mixture, and um, it's fairly soft, and it's got a little bit of seed heads in it as well. Um, so that is personally um, what I would choose um, right off the bat um, to see if your rabbit enjoys it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please. If you have any more questions, um, you guys can comment down below or private message me, DM me on Instagram, and um, I'll try to get back and answer um, those for you. But if there's a lot of questions left, I may put out another video, I'm not sure. And don't forget that all of this hay was from smallpetselect.com, so if you're looking for a place to buy hay, um, I highly recommend um, choosing them just because as you can see all of this grass here is super super green um, That is one quality that you want to make sure your your hay is for your rabbit It has to be green or there isn't going to be nutrients in it um, So I have found that small pet select is super green and my rabbits love it So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon on a new video. Bye